Alright, so it's Halloween again and today I'm going to be doing my Halloween makeup tutorial and this year I actually asked my followers what I should do for my Halloween makeup. I would say the most popular answer would be um, a character from The Nun called Valak or something like that. I don't know what it was. Lah. But the second most suggested character was actually Rosma. <laughs> if you don't know who Rosma is, she is the Malaysian ex-Prime Minister Najib's uh, wife. Think about it, what's more scary than rampant corruption in the country, right? <laughs> so very very apt for Halloween. I don't know if I will succeed because I've never ever done special effects makeup before and today I'm going to be playing with latex and stuff like that because as you guys know, the most distinct feature on Rosma is probably her really... I don't know how to describe the nose. Sometimes it's very pointy, sometimes it's very lumpy at the tip. I don't know what's going on with her nose which kind of looks like a proboscis monkey. It's going to be hard because look at me, I'm so pretty. Ah. Alright, I'm going to take off my makeup and start right now. So I'm going to try to do her nose first. All I managed to get is this from like... Uh, spotlight and I do have some latex here as well. I think because it's so white right, I'm gonna add some of my more tan foundation to mix it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna boil a little bit here and like put some foundation inside to like kind of mix it. I took one of the foundations that are like a darker skin tone than mine, mixed with the white, hopefully it becomes kind of rosemary colour. Oh, this thing smells man. Looks like some kind of shape is forming. It's confirmed very very long here. So, I need to put more. Okay, so here is very pinched also. So, we need to have one layer here as well. Okay, I think the, the nose is taking shape. Wow, it actually looks quite nice while very pointy. <laughs> Oh my god, the nose does look like hers, right? The side view. We're almost there. We just need a little bit more of this lump and hope that it never ever like fucking like drops. Put some of my giant cheeks. Alright, I'm just gonna continue molding this shit. It's gonna take a while, so I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, I think I'm pretty pleased with my Rosma nose. Um, I think I did a pretty good job with the nose and kind of looks like Rosma's nose now, I think, which is just really long at the tip. So now I just need to put a bit more of the prosthetics on my cheeks because she has really big cheeks and a lumpy forehead and a sharp little chin. Okay guys, so it's not going very well because this layer of uh, wax, it's become very tacky. The moment I touch it, it just like comes off my finger. So right now, I am just putting a layer of latex on top of it and hoping that it will, you know, at least be solid enough for me to put some makeup on top of it because if I don't, then it's way too white for skin. So just now the producers went to get some more wax for me and this one is called a uh, Snazaru. I don't know whether it will work but this one says wax so hopefully it works better than the previous one. I'm gonna try to like mold some and put some on my forehead as well. This is like so different from the previous material that I used. This is like a freaking skill man to try to like do a fake cheek. So right now I'm just trying to like pinch the lumps out and just kind of like make it smoother before I put it on my cheek. Oh my god, look like a scary old plastic woman. Right now, I'm gonna break off another chunk for my forehead. Wow, now they look like a freaking like salon pass. Those like... ...小孩子 the fever patch, you know. Wow, look at that. It's so plasticlicious, I love it. Very good, very very pop. Now for a uh, plastic chin. Oh my god, it fucking looks like her! I feel like the moulding is, is great, it's like perfect. I'm just gonna put a layer of latex on top of it and we're gonna be ready for the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna do my foundation now. I'm just gonna try to mix some colour here. Thank you Rosma for having very very uneven skin so I don't have to like blend this out very well. 
All right, I'm done with my foundation. I think overall this looks great. Usually Rosma's brows are like just really arced up like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to draw on her brows now. And I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty Palette here. They have a color called Black Truffle and uh, Rosma's brows are usually black. Her brows will be thicker around the center. Giving her a bit of a feathered brow also. Don't say don't have ah, Rosma. Ah. Oh my god, I hope she never ever gets to watch this. I sure will get killed by a C4. Okay, so I think I'm done with the brows. Her eyebrows are like... Super like mm, all the time. So we're gonna do some contouring now because Rosma has this really pinched look around her nose. Let's just go with Coco. So right now I'm gonna try to line the bottom of my eyes because Rosma tends to line her waterline. Oh my god, look at that! Usually she doesn't put that much lip colour, usually it's like a soft pink or like a little bit of a glossy red. So I'm just going to go with this little glossy red colour that I have with me right here. So I think I'm done with the makeup here, I'm just going to go do my hair. So I'm just going to put on a black wig and just anyhow be a Rosma in jail who doesn't have hairspray I guess. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have put on my wig and my hijab. It looks a bit a mess, so I think it matches with my handbags. Can pass me my Birkin, please? Somebody, where's my Birkin? I got my Birkins here, yay! Yay, Birkin! I don't take away my Birkin! Ah. Oh, the police come! No, it's mine! My Birkin! Don't take! Is this how she talks? I don't know how she talks, but... My Birkin! Ah, I got it in my life! It's lost in peaceful dreams, so I turn all the lights and lay there in the dark. And the thought crosses my mind. If I never wake in the morning, I keep fearing for my life. Yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> We've come to the end of my Halloween makeup tutorial look. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. And please don't bomb me with C4, please, please. I, this is just a joke, okay? Uh, I'm a peaceful citizen, leave me alone. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna go remove this makeup already. As you can see, I cannot fucking stop tearing because somehow the latex is making my eyes sting, which is like going really well with the whole jailbird look. <laughs> going to jail. Don't take my pink diamond and my Birkin, please. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to remove this now. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.